You're still tuned into The Weekend Startup, and if you're just joining us, thank you so much for joining us this evening. Now, also with us this evening is a hip-hop master, the Ronaldinho of our time. His real name <laughs> is uh, Resilience Chiquero, affectionately known as GZ. Thank you so much for joining us on The Weekend It's a startup. pleasure to be here. Thanks for having me. Yeah? Ronaldinho of our times, sir. How does that feel? I like that. I, I think I dribble with lyrics, yeah. Oh, come on, man. It's cheating. <laughs> listen, I've heard that a lot of people re re refer to you as uh, the Ronaldinho of our time. Then I got to listen to your music, and I must say I add to it. Yeah? Thank you. Now, also doing the rounds on the streets is the song Kadat So. Yes. Yeah, so talking about Kadat is the pizzazz, yeah? Yeah, it's the pizzazz, it's the finesse, it's the Midas touch. Yeah. You know I, what I mean? It's I'm, that... It's that, it's that uh, it's that practice, the discipline, the consistency that goes on behind the scenes that people don't see. Yeah. And they see it, they want to just emulate the pro they want to emulate the result. Yeah. But it's a process. It's embering hundred K views right now on YouTube. Yeah, we're almost there. Fifteen K fifteen K to go. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be there. I took a talk to me about when you end up on the scene and then you know it's a hit song like this. How do you do you master it like that? Do you come to it like that? Do you think to yourself, let's make a hit song or do you give it to us? No, 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 you know, uh, my, my, my recording process is very free, for, free yeah. flowing, you know, so what comes out is what comes out and then we try to run with that. We go with that, we push it, but we sit down with a team and we pick out a single and say, okay, this is one that is more fitting to the times or to get this result, mm -hmm. let's go with this one. Now, when we have hits like Nakadat, that so mm -hmm. you you expect them to be placed on prominent play playlists, yeah. and then you know we also go there, Banana, YouTube, and um, Spotify, and yep. we look for those um, the hit songs in Zimbabwe. Yep. Normally, it's written with the Zimbabwe artist, and you see songs like Nakadat, that so there. Yeah. Talk to us about the the effort that's put into being part of those uh, playlists, and how difficult is it? Is it difficult at all? Well, you know, whenever you're doing music, like, or oh, anything, you know what I'm saying? Like, smart people are the key. You got to align yourself with smart people, strategic synergies, mm -hmm. that know where to press the records. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, if you're a musician and you're the smartest person on your team, you're in trouble. <laughs> Listen, let's talk about the visuals. Yeah, the cut that so. Yeah. Uh, it is the creativity there is astounding. Yeah, yeah. So, um, how did how did you get there? Uh, that that idea was uh, Simdok, you know. The, Simdok, the, yeah. yeah. He gave me a treatment like he usually just puts together like little visual, yeah, yeah, a little visual synopsis that lets you know what he wants to do with the scenes and this verse goes with this scene and stuff like that. Yeah. And, yeah. and like you said, you need you need a lot of creativity on the absolutely, whole team because absolutely. if it's up to you only, absolutely. it'll be a lot. Now talking about creativity and bringing the culture all together, you've been doing freestyle Fridays. Yeah, um, it's an interesting concept. How did you come up with that? Well, that was me just trying to get back into rapping and releasing yeah. music after I had uh, I'd been out. I had an accident. I was almost out for a year plus. So I wasn't putting on music for that whole time. And this was me just trying to get back into the game, trying to find my footing again. Yeah. You've been yeah. at it for about three months now? Yeah, three months yeah. now. Yeah. Okay, absolutely lovely. And, uh, I and so we dropped the Freestyle Fridays as a tape. It's available on all precious platforms right now. Yeah. How That's welcome is it? Um, how welcome are the other artists to Freestyle Fridays? You know, it's, it's doing pretty dope. You yeah. know, it's doing pretty dope. Uh, it's drumming up my numbers on my socials. So yeah. Yeah. That, Listen, that if social start. media is saying yes, then you know you're well yeah. within. <laughs> now, um, I wanted to say the album took time, but no, you took time to give us the album. Long mm -hmm. awaited. What was happening there? Number one, I'm a perfectionist. Yeah. Number two, I was doing stuff pretty much on my own. So now I have a team, everything works more smoothly. It's, it's like a mechanical hustle now. Yeah, you know I, mean? bam. Like, I do what I do best. The people that do marketing and promo and PR and everything, they do what they're supposed to do. Yeah. Speaking about team, um, which producers have you, did you work with on the album? The album is titled uh, Chequera. Chequera. Yeah. yeah. So which producers did you work uh, with? I worked with uh, Gangster Made from No Limits. Mm. There's Afro Zenda and there's a kid called Texas. Um, the album uh, Chequera is uh, from your surname. Yeah, it's from yeah. my surname. Yeah, how did is that is that um, is that you paying homage to GZ, to resilience? No, or it's just me trying to say like whatever we do in this world, whatever we hustle for, you know what I'm saying? We do it for yeah. our last name. Yeah. Yeah. I'm for that. So I'm you, you want to work until, you know, anybody from your lineage or for you come from doesn't have to introduce themselves. Mm -hmm. You know, they say that name, they can get a seat at the table. They can get a conversation. Come on. Yeah. Now listen, hip hop has been just making noise the past couple of two, two, yep. three weeks, and there's a lot of beef there. I'm not surprised. I did not see you involved there. Now yeah. that takes me to my question: Maturity adds to that, um, or is it you, you trying know, to protect uh, your brand? 
you know, after time when people feud, it's 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 a it's a it's ego, it's pride, yeah. you know. But for for the most part, it's just a lack of communication. You know, what I mean? it's just miscommunication. It's miscommunication most, most between. Most of that stuff can be solved with a conversation. You know it's miscommunication mean? between who the the the. The parties involved. Yeah, and in, in the quote -unquote do you beef. think that your fans have got anything to do with uh, the beef that you end up getting involved in? Do you think they push you somehow? I mean, I I'm not the some, type of person that yeah. can be pushed into anything. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. If I do anything, it's my call. It's not for anybody. But uh, you know, as far as artists feuding, sometimes it's gonna happen. People are gonna clash. It's it's a sport. You know what I mean? It's, it's competition. A sport? Yeah, it's competition. Yeah. As long as people know the difference between hate and competition and keep it healthy. I think lastly on the feud, there also I would also like to know: Would you be able to work with, or would you want to work with someone that you know there's been a feud with before, but maybe for the better of the brand absolutely. and for the culture, you'd be like, let's put this aside. Let's absolutely. work. Absolutely. You absolutely. have before? Yeah. Absolutely. Yes? All right. So you are an elder in the hip-hop game. You know, you've been holding down this culture for about two decades now. Okay. So I'm sure a lot of people come to you for advice. Uh, you know, my youth, what do we do? How do you go about guiding them? And would you say yourself you are within the lines of handling the game? I mean, like, uh, I, don't, if, I, I don't see myself much as a, a gatekeeper. But, you yeah. know, if, if that title is placed upon me and somebody comes to me for advice or whatever, I'll just tell them to... Stay on your path, practice, don't yeah. have, have less time to practice your craft and less time to just drum up your ego, you know what I mean? Yeah. And stay focused and be around smart people and you'll be high. Now we've spoken about how you've been in the industry for two decades plus. Mm -hmm. um, state of hip-hop has changed, um, mm -hmm. especially here in Zimbabwe. It's a culture that we had to yep. now have sink in and start doing it ourselves. What's your take on the state in 2022, here in 2023? What is it looking like? I think you? 2022 has been the best year for hip-hop in a I very so long too. time. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like It's a lot of artists that came out, new artists, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Some artists that were still there that are coming back out, like myself. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a lot of new voices adding, adding flair and color to the genre, and the movement has grown and is it's become bigger. Yeah. It is really now a formidable culture. There's always something yeah. to add to something that is blooming, like uh, hip hop is in 2022. What would you add or what would you change before we head on to a new year or add? Mm, I wouldn't change anything per se. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But as far as add on, I just think maybe uh, people take more entrepreneurship. You know what I'm saying? Like artists. Yeah. Uh, you know what you can make out of uh, 5,000 streams is probably what you can make if you sell two t-shirts of your merchandise. Yeah. Yeah, so be more entrepreneurial, be more creative in terms of bringing in revenue. I like that too. You've yeah. got you've got to, you've got to monetize your art Absolutely. Right, to a certain extent. Now, getting back to the exciting stuff. Today's a mm -hmm. Friday. Um, what do you usually get up to when you're not hooked up on a gig? Well, I, I'm usually I'm a stay indoors guy. Stay indoors. You know I mean? So yeah, tonight you're indoors, indoors or what? Nah, but you know when, when you have new music out, you have, you have to be out there pressing and promoting. Yeah. So probably you just need to go from club to club, politicking with the DJs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You make and, that and sound fun. The way you know, partying, partying. <laughs> Listen, we are embering festive season. What are you getting up to for this festive season? Festive season, I, I usually always take a holiday. Holiday? I to, yeah, I take yeah. a holiday. I try to get out of Zimbabwe and see a little bit more of Africa. Absolutely lovely yeah. exposure, it's always good. Now, please do make sure you catch up with us, and that happens at hashtag ZTN Prime, hashtag The Weekend Startup, hashtag Get the Picture. Stay tuned.